welcome back. Now in this chapter, I want to show you how you can create a user in Azure Active Directory and also assign the user a role by the use of a Terraform configuration file. So just to show you how you do this manually. So if I go in another tab onto Azure Active Directory, so the way that you go onto Azure Active Directory is you scroll down and you go on to Azure AD. Here I can go on to users and I can create a new user. Here I can scroll down. I can give a username specified here. I can generate the password and then I can hit on create. I can go on to the user. I can take the user ID. Here I can sign in with a different account. I'll use another account. I'll use that ID. Go on to next. Now, since this is a new user, you will actually be prompted to change the password. This is as per the internal policy of Azure AD when it comes on to password management. Now, when you log in as this new user, when it comes on to Azure resources, you will not see any resources that are part of that Azure account. The way that you actually give access onto resources is via role-based access control. You can give access onto either individual resources or onto the resource group holding those resources or even at the subscription level. Here, if I go on to app GRP, the resource group that is holding my resources, here I can go on to access control and I can click on add and choose a role assignment. Here we have a whole list of inbuilt roles. Let me choose the reader role. Go on to next. Here I will select my members. I'll select user A, hit on select, go on to next and hit on review and assign. Now it takes a couple of minutes for the role assignment to take effect. So we'll come back. Now, after waiting for a couple of minutes, yeah, if I just refresh the page has user A, now I can see the resources that are part of this resource group. So I want to implement the same use case scenario via a Terraform configuration file. Firstly, what I'll do is I'll go on to this resource group and I'll delete this resource group. In my Terraform configuration file, we'll deploy the resource group and Azure VM will create a user and also give access via role-based access control. So what I've already done is in my Terraform configuration file, I have put in the code again for the deployment of a simple Azure VM. Now we need to deploy our user. For this, we can make use of the resource known as Azure AD underscore user. This allows us to manage the user. So pretty simple. We just have the user principal name, the display name, if you want nickname for the mail and what is a password. So I'll copy this. Let me place it here. So just defining user A. Let me go back on to Azure Active Directory. I'll just hide this. Go on to my users. Go on to user A. I'll just take this entire ID. Then I'll place it here. Just give the name. Don't need this. And I'll just mention a password, a simple password. Let me save this. And let me also delete the user because we're going to recreate the user again. Now, the next resource that we need to use is the Azure RM role assignment. This allows us to assign the role. So I can take this, the role assignment. I'll copy it and place it here. I'll just give the name. Here we have to give the scope. So I can give the scope 
at the resource group level. So let me take the resource group, app GRP, scroll down, and we just need the ID of the resource group. And what is a principal ID? That is our Azure AD user. So let me take this. Dot user A. And here again, it's the object ID. Let me also add a depends on clause. So this is dependent on the existence of user A and also the existence actually of the resource group. So pretty simple. I'll save this, go on to the terminal. Let's create a plan. So let me do a Terraform init upgrade. So here it's ensuring that we have the latest version of Azure AD. That's why we have to do the upgrade. Now let's create the plan. Let me then apply the plan. And let's come back once this is complete. Now, once this is complete, we can verify. Here, let me refresh on users. So I can see user A. If you go on to user A, here if I go on to Azure role assignments, I can see the user is assigned the reader role onto the resource group. So in this video, I just want to kind of go through how you can create a user in Azure Active Directory via Terraform and how you can give access onto a resource group via the use of role-based access control.